Hey everyone, welcome to another Creative tutorial. Today I'm going to go over something super, super helpful, hopefully, and that is how to reinstall Krita back to default, fresh settings with no influence from you, and how you changed it before you uninstalled it. And this is kind of a big deal because when I was making some custom brushes, I accidentally overrode the default brushes that, or the default like brush preset that comes with Krita. And I didn't realize it until too late, and it was kind of a frustrating thing. And I thought, oh well, I'll just re-import the the resources for it. But I had messed those up as well. It was just a disaster. So I figured uh, I'd make a video to help others um, resolve this issue as well, because it is something that I I've seen come up often and it is a little bit um, difficult to find info that um, is super easy to follow along with. So I'm just going to go over that with you guys today. Uh, before we do anything though, you're going to want to save any custom brushes, any custom anything in Krita because if you're like me, um, you kind of forget to do that. And I had to remake my new brushes like 50 times while I was doing all this testing. I have two here because I don't know what I, why I, I don't know why I did two, and I don't really know why the numbers appeared here. But basically, um, I created a new bundle. So let's just test one. Let's say create new bundle and test custom bundle. So anything you want to add to it from your brush br your brushes, your brush presets, gradients, patterns, yada yada yada, add to it here. So, whatever the heck this is, go ahead and add it, yeah, that, uh, sure, why? And this is like stuff that's already in Krita, but we're just pretending it's not. And then for workspace, um, this is mine, so I'm going to add that in there, we'll add whatever that is. And then we can add description, so we'll just say backup custom stuff, and then we'll save it. So it's here. And we want to make sure we can copy this and save it somewhere else. So open resource folder. And this is where it is. And we can go to bundles. And then we can just uh, copy whatever it is here. So this is test custom bundle. So we can just copy that. And then paste it wherever you want. It can be on your desktop, your downloads, in your document somewhere. Whatever. Alright, and then once you have that done, you can close Krita. Uh, I don't know what, where all this stuff is on a Mac, but we're going to. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I don't even know why I bothered clicking that. We're going to go to our control panel on Windows, and we're going to uninstall it. So, find Krita, right click, and hit uninstall. And we're going to hit yes. Alright, so now that we've uninstalled it, that's great. That doesn't mean everything is gone from it. So, in the Creative Manual, it lets you know where everything Creative related is saved. And we need to delete all of this. So, we need to delete the configuration, we need to make sure the um, resources are gone, and we need to make sure, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Yes, that should be it. So, we're going to open up our folder here. I'm just going to go to, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into my browser here and alright so we're in the folder we're gonna go up one to the roaming and we're gonna have just hit delete whoops hit delete on the Krita folder so that's gone whoops and then I'm gonna go to here for the configuration and I'm clicking on buttons again I'm going to paste that there, and we're going to look for, let's see, Krita should be gone, it is, alright cool, now I'm going to make sure it's just completely gone from everything, I don't want, nope, alright, so on app data local, I'm going to delete that Krita as well, make sure there's nothing here, alright, and it should be completely gone. 
And just to make sure, I'm going to paste this stuff back in again. Cool. So if I can't find it, that means it's gone. Keep clicking the wrong thing. All right. And just to be on the safe side, I went and searched for anything Krita related. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. If you don't feel comfortable with it, then don't do it. But I want a completely fresh install. I don't want anything, like any temp files or anything, affecting my uh, Krita install. Because if I don't delete the temp files when I kind of like did some testing, uh, it, it saved my workspace, my most recent files, all that stuff. So by deleting all of these, I was able to basically remove any info that Krita was ever on here. So I reinstalled it. Krita wasn't like, oh yeah, I remember this. It went, I don't know anything. I'm completely new. So I'm going to delete this. If you don't feel comfortable, then you don't have to. Just know that it's going to save your workspace and your most recent documents and all that other stuff. So I just uh, made sure that they're actually um, uh, like actual uh, f uh, info files, not like my personal working files. So just make sure. And if it says, hey, I can't find this file, that means it's already been deleted. I don't know why it's not updating it. You can see here, this is not a Krita like temp file or anything like that. This is my, um, it has to do with my actual Krita videos that I make. So I'm going to leave that one alone. So I'm going to delete everything else. So now if I close the search and I search for this again, I shouldn't get anything except this stuff here. Cool. So I save all of my um, downloads. I don't really delete them. So the most recent version is 4.1.7 at the time of making this video. So if you don't have that already, make sure to download it and just, you know, double check that just in case, like, you didn't realize there was a new update. I've already double checked, like, 50 times because <laughs> I'm usually behind on that and this is the most recent file or, um, update. So we're just going to install that and I will fast forward this so you don't have to sit here and wait. Alright, so now that Krita is finished, we see it back and installed on my desktop. Um, it's only saving in the same spot because it's the first open area. If I had like left, if I had filled that with something else, it would have gone over here. Just in case like you were wondering why it went to the same spot. So we're going to open it and take a look at our clean install of Krita. And I'll show you how to re-import the resources that you saved out of your custom stuff. Like brushes and whatnot. All right, so as you can see, it is fully custom. I'm also going to go over a few things that you might want to change uh, with Krita. So I'm going to go to new file. As you can see, I don't have my custom uh, or predefined image size saved. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new one first and foremost. I think it's 30. I'm just this is what I changed it to. I think I'm going to save it as custom. Oops landscape before I do that make sure my layers are at 2 I think I did 40% uh, gray and hit OK and make sure that says canvas color and I'm going to save this save 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 and cool and create very good and then uh, Another thing I'm going to want to do is to change the canvas input. Um, oops, sorry, not that. Keyboard shortcuts. Because I didn't realize this. If you hit Control T, for some reason, Krita has three different tools um, identifying and being controlled by Control T. And obviously, that doesn't work. So we have to. Ch I'm going to change that. I'm sorry, there's two. I'm going to put custom and none for those two. And then I'm going to go to transform, and that's going to be control T. So I'm going to leave it at that, hit OK. I'm also going to change my theme to create a darker, because that's what I had it at. I'm going to move my tool options back to where I had them. 
which is uh, put layers, switch that, and actually I didn't have to do that. I probably should have just imported my workspace. And that was it for the configure credo. I'm going to have to go through and change my tablet um, settings here. Oh, before I do anything else, too. Uh, display, I need to put to direct 3D. Oh my gosh. I think people are moving outside if you could hear that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to change my uh, renderer um, to Direct 3D because that prevented any lag on my Wacom tablet that I'm using. And now I can go back to Manage Resources and I'm going to import a bundle. And I save my bundle right here. I'm going to bring that one in. And it has my brush presets and my workspace. I'm going to hit OK. Ta-da! And there it is. And everything goes back to normal. I got my brush. I got my workspace back without having to do too much work. I have a fresh install. All my custom brushes I did in that, in that leaf video. The beautiful ferns. I didn't say because I'm an idiot. So I have to do that all over again. But I learned my lesson. And hopefully this video will help you learn yours. And they're still making noise outside. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, I forgot to let you know about two things when you reinstall Krita. Um, if you open Krita and your mouse or your tablet mouse cursor or whatever is like completely off center, then the, uh, Krita for some reason um, doesn't know the size that your tablet is going to acknowledge. Um, I have two monitors set up, so I think that's part of why it was like, well, don't you want the full like screen? And I don't. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open Krita. Um, and then hit shift and then you're going to take your mouse and you're going to click and then this is going to come up so right now mine's set to the right size but if yours isn't uh, go ahead and fix it here and then hit OK and then Krita should open up and everything should be back to normal like there's no offset anymore and all that fun stuff or not really fun stuff but all that crazy stuff and then um, another thing I wanted to mention is under general and miscellaneous. Um, I recommend checking this off. I've always had it off. Um, it basically is using instead of using native file dialogues in uh, when you open stuff up in Krita, where it gives you like a window ex Windows Explorer file viewer. You're using the one with Krita, so it's always going to be like using the dark theme and everything. And as you can see. By having this on, it may not work correctly for some systems. I didn't have a problem with it when I did have it checked down, but aesthetically, I like it to match what I'm seeing in Krita. So, yeah. Just wanted to uh, throw that in there before the video ended. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it for making a clean, fresh install of Krita. I really hope this helped you. If you're on a Mac or you're using Linux, the process should pretty much be the same. Just make sure any temp file that involves Krita is deleted. Um, to get a co completely clean install because as you can see I don't have open recent because I got rid of all that everything was gone and the only issue that I did come up with was um, adding my brushes to a custom tag it was a little it, it worked but it wasn't showing up right away until I restarted Krita um, and then I thought it duplicated the tags as well though I don't think that's a bug I think it was because those tags were filled up with the um, pop-up palette, so I think maybe it just automatically thought, well, maybe you just want a duplicate of it. Um, but after I restarted Krita, after removing it from that tag, so it wasn't overloaded, it went back to normal. So that's the only weird thing I, I ran into. But nothing like that kept me from drawing or saving or working in Krita. Everything was like perfect. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, if you come up with any weird issues, let me know in the comments below. Maybe a file didn't get deleted like you thought it did, or maybe it, the process is a little different on a Mac or a Linux, um, in which case I apologize, I don't work with either of those. The Linux might change in the future though. Um, I may switch a laptop to using Linux just for fun, because why not? Alright, so that was it for this video. If it helped you, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to learn more about Krita or drawing and art in general. 
And if you really, really want to support me, um, you can also donate to my coffee. The minimum is $3 right now, but that helps go towards um, a new headset slash bills <laughs> to make life a little easier on me, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.